Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we all know that 26 Rafales are already operational from Ambala in the western sector and Hasimara in the eastern sector. France will deliver 3 Rafales each month starting from October 13th for next 3 months completing the order of 9 pending Rafales. The last or the 36 Rafale will be delivered with India's specific changes with some Israeli components which is going to make Rafale far more lethal than its previous versions. Once the 36 Rafale is landed in India, the remaining 35 Rafales will also be upgraded with India's specific changes. But then, many of our viewers and even I was worried what after the delivery of 36 Rafales. So the news is that my friends, it will be Rafale F4. The Indian Air Force will be ordering additional 36 Rafales of F-4 variant. In the month of April, our Air Chief Marshal Arkes Bhaduria was in France where the Salt Aviation had briefed him about the Rafale F-4. The deal for next 36 Rafale jets will include India-specific changes as per the previous deal. The Rafale fighter jets have many variants and Indian Air Force is currently operating the most advanced version of Rafale which is Rafale F3R, DH and EH for two-seater and single-seater respectively. Rafale is trying to upgrade their jets to F4 variant which is going to be the most advanced version of Rafale fighter jets. The upgrade of F4 variant has been planned in two phases F4.1 and F4.2. The F4.1 will feature an upgraded radar as well as improved capabilities in helmet mounted display. It will have new weapons, notably MBDS Mica NG air to air missile and 1000 kg ASM air to ground modular weapon and be able to carry the new SCARP missiles. Talking about Mica NG, it will be based on an entirely new design. The Mica NG missile will inherit the external dimensions and the unique concept that has made the Mica anti air missile such a success for a quarter of a century. This concept means Mica features either an infrared or radio frequency seeker on the same common missile body, allowing the operator at the moment of firing to select the best option to respond to the tactics adopted by the adversaries. On the Mica NG, a new infrared seeker based on metric sensor will provide increased sensitivity while a new radio frequency seeker with an active electronically scanned antenna will allow for smart detection strategies. The lower volume of electronic components will enable Mica NG to carry a larger load of propellant, significantly extending its range and the new dual pulse rocket motor will provide additional energy to the missile at the end of its flight improving its maneuverability and ability to intercept targets at long range. In surface to air mode, the Mica NG will be able to intercept targets over 40 km away. Finally, the maintenance, ownership, cost will significantly reduce thanks to the internal sensors that will monitor the status of munition throughout its life cycle. The Mica NG missile will be available in series production from 2026. The F41 will also be equipped with Talio's multifunctional optronic pod made by Thales. The F4.2 will have more effective network centric warfare with more data exchange and satellite communication capacity. The fighter jet will be able to receive more data and will be more secure due to satellite communication and software defined radio. The validation of F4 standard is planned by 2024 with some functions becoming available as of 2022. The maintenance of F4 will also be going to be easier than its predecessors with new prognosis and diagnostic aid system which can predict when aircraft needs maintenance. It is also planned to incorporate the big data and artificial intelligence to further develop F4 into a true futuristic fighter. The Rafale F4 jets will have a new engine control unit. Overall, this is extremely good news for our Air Force and much needed initiative. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.